Hi, Brent Tech here. Where Tech is made simple. Windows 10 KB 5004945 is causing issues, and that was the update that Microsoft rolled out on the 6th of July 2021. It was an emergency update with various security fixes to address the Print Nightmare Zero Day exploit, uh, the vulnerability in the Windows Print Spooler service that had already been exploited in the wild and was currently active. Now, the latest is the update is causing serious problems for certain users of Windows and is causing certain printers to crash and also numerous printing problems and also causing some bugs and issues generally in the Windows operating system. Now, according to Microsoft, the update is affecting the, the issues with the update are mainly affecting receipt and label printers that are connected to your computer through a USB. Now, receipt and label printers are mainly used by enterprises and corporations. Now, in yesterday's video I posted on KB5004945, I reported that the update had actually failed to fix the zero-day exploit, the print nightmare vulnerability, and that the exploit had actually bypassed the update. So this update really is useless on your PC and is really a waste of time. Now, if you are a home user and you don't even have a printer connected to your PC, as an example, or, you know, you are experiencing now the printer problems after applying the update, what you can do, the easiest solution is just to uninstall the update because if you, as mentioned in yesterday's video, you know, if you do uninstall it, it will be made available most probably in next week, Patch Tuesday's uh, July 2021 update. That's next week, Tuesday. And I'm sure that the uh, that cumulative update will address the uh, print nightmare vulnerability and the printer problems in that uh, update. Now, to, as always, to uninstall the update, what you need to do is we always just head over to our settings, update and security, under Windows Update, view update history. And this is the update KB5004945. Now, I've actually posted four videos on the Print Nightmare vulnerability, and I've this is my third video on KB5004945. So there are a couple of issues with this update, and I will leave a link in the description box below to all those videos I've posted previously on Print Nightmare Vulnerability and this update. So you can just go check out, you know, for yourself just to keep up to date with what is going on because there's quite a bit going on between that vulnerability and this update. Now to uninstall KB5004945, we just head up to the top, uninstall updates, scroll down to the bottom. Yeah, we find KB5004945. We click on it, click on uninstall, just, you know, click on yes, follow the prompts to uninstall the update, restart your PC, and that will take the update off your computer and then hopefully resolve those printing issues and any other bugs you might have been experiencing in your Windows operating system. Now, if you are, say, in a corporation or an enterprise or, you know, you, you feel that the uh, exploit has made its way onto your PC, what you can do is you can actually um, disable the Windows Print Spooler service as the Win Windows Print Spooler service is actually uh, responsible for all of your printing jobs in the Windows operating system. And I have posted uh, videos previously on this uh, subject. So as I mentioned, I will leave all of those down below for you to go check out if you actually want to you know, disable the service, if you feel that you, your machine might have been compromised. So KB5004945, is now causing uh, uh, printer problems and issues in the Windows operating system. And that has actually got nothing to do with the print nightmare vulnerability. This is now new uh, uh, reports and issues that have, the update is causing. And as I mentioned in yesterday's video, those uh, the zero day exploit had actually bypassed this update. So you can take it off your machine um, as it is really doing nothing. And then next week, Tuesday, uh, on in Patch Tuesday, on Patch Tuesday, um, I'm sure that Microsoft will roll out all the fixes in that cumulative update. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.